Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel, uh, Journals and Crafts by Tam. I wanted to jump on here really fast and show you guys how I disassemble a book. So when you put together junk journals, sometimes what you can do doesn't mean you always have to do it. You can take apart a book that you owned, um, bought it from the store, it was gifted to you or however you came about it, but you want to use some of the pages in the book to create your own journal so what I'm doing here is I'm taking apart a hymn book I've already took several pages at least half of the pages already out of here so I figured I'll jump on here really fast and show you guys how to uh, do this process so usually what I have on hand is an exacto knife a um, one of these tools that you use to take thread out of clothes I, I forgot what it's called and a little pair of scissors so these are the things that I use back and forth as I'm taking the book apart so what you want to do is you want to find the center of the signature now a book's signature is basically a group of pages that have been assembled to make a small section of the book and then you basically sew it inside the book in sections so you're looking to see where the center of any given signature is and that is usually recognized by thread which shows that the book was uh, sewn together so I don't know if you can see that there but like right here in the middle of this particular set of pages you'll see thread in there so basically what you want to do is you want to take that thread out of there because you're trying to save your pages. You don't want to rip your pages because again you're trying to put these pages inside a journal that you're creating. So once you find those little spaces where the thread is, you're just going to take your uh, thread remover tool here and you just want to go in between the thread and the book and you just want to pluck up the thread. You're basically tearing the thread apart so that you can remove the pages from the book without ripping them out. So after you do that, it's going to it's going to be pretty easy. It's going to come up really easy. So this is what you're going to end up with. This set of pages assembled together is called a signature. So they basically just took a set of pages, they sewed it together inside the book one signature at a time so you'll see where I have taken apart several of these already and this is basically the process of disassembling a book now all books are different some are a little bit harder than others depending on how old or new the book is so you just have to take your time make sure you're not ripping out any of your pages that you want to use you can rip out these pages individually if you're not going to use them as a whole page maybe you just only want to use a half sheet and fold it in half and use it to put inside one of your journals but you don't know that yet well I don't know that yet so I don't just start ripping pages in half I just disassemble the entire set of uh, pages and then as I'm putting my journal together I'll decide at that time whether or not I want to split the page and just make two individual pages or if I want to keep it whole. So just to give you an idea of what I'm saying. So let's say I wanted to use this page to go in one of my journals. So basically this is a page and let's say I don't want to use this whole thing I want to just tear it in half and just use one side so I'll end up with something like this and so from that point I can either fold this in half and have a folded page inside my journal or I can take this page and glue it onto another page and just have just this one side of the page showing in my journal so that's totally up to you how you do that but I just wanted to jump on here really quick and show you guys how I do it I realize everybody does things differently this is what I have found to be the easiest method 
for me. So I'm going to do a few more of these to show you guys what it how to do it just once more but it's, it's really easy really simple and again if you run across a book where it's not easy to take them apart you just have to take your time because sometimes the thread is really tight and it's not easy to get between it and the book pages so you just have to take your time and not rush the process just you know be gentle go in between there I found that older books it's easier to do than newer books but with older books it's also easier to stab your pages which is what you see I'm doing now because the pages are so fragile it's easy to kinda take a sharp instrument and stab into your pages which is basically compromising the strength of those pages that you're getting ready to use in your journal so you just you know take your time and um, do it in a way that you're going to be able to use your pages from your book in the way that you want now keep in mind there are all kinds of copyright laws that prevent us from copying these pages scanning them into our computer using them over and over and over again I suggest you look up the copyright law and make sure that I think the easiest thing for me is is to just buy the book and use it page by page I don't want to scan it in I don't want to take a picture of it I don't want to make copies of it or anything like that so once I use page number 37 I basically don't have another page 37 but um, some people um, scan their pages into their computer and they use them over and over and over again there are copyright laws that prevent us from doing that which means once you purchase the book it, it basically becomes yours to do with whatever you want but depending on the year that the book was made some books are um, not under copyright any longer which means you can scan it in you can make copies of it do whatever you want however many times you want but you would have to know the copyright law to see whether or not you are violating that particular law so I'm not a legal expert I'm not going to give you any advice in that regard I suggest you just make sure when you are uh, making copies of books scanning them into your computer to use in the future over and over again that you are complying with the law so I'm gonna show you this one more time and then I'm gonna let you see what the book looks like after it has been completely taken apart so well not this particular book I'm gonna finish this one off camera but um, I have done a couple of these already and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like so after I have taken all the pages out this is basically what you get you're gonna get a cover like this and you can reuse this cover to make a journal um, or if you think this is too small too big too short or whatever then I mean I guess you would just trash this but I keep these covers and I use them to make future journals but that's totally up to you so basically once I get through removing all of these pages out of here I'm gonna be basically left with an empty shell and so I can kinda show you guys what that's going to look like by taking the spine completely out um, not the spine the um, book pages completely out but the reason why I like to wait to do that until after I have removed my signatures is because it's just easier um, with the book being inside the cover it gives me more room to it kind of creates resistance so when I bend the page like this I have something holding it together but once I remove it from this cover it becomes a little bit more flimsy and I'm not um, able to keep control over it the way I would like to but just to give you guys an idea as to you know what this book looks like once it's taken completely apart and um, you decide whether or not you want to use the inside covers of your book once you take it apart 
so like um for example let's say you don't want this song showing if you want to reuse this cover and you don't want this song showing on your journal that you're creating you would just take some uh, decorative paper and you would just cover it the inside of it so you don't necessarily have to keep whatever's on the inside on the inside that's totally up to you depending on the type of journal that you're creating so this is basically what I'm going to end up with with this particular book and again I can use this cover to make a journal and I can cover the inside of this if I don't want that to show or if I want that to show I can just leave it like it is I will reinforce my spine so that it's not so flimsy and from there I could decorate the outside of the cover and do with it what I want now this book has this little red sticker on it which is an indication I probably got it from a thrift store the Goodwill or, or wherever and so that's where I get a lot of my books I don't buy them brand new I buy them used and I just basically you know get whatever kind of book that I'm looking for and um, I'm usually going from the from the inside out so I look for a book based on what I'm looking for in terms of material and then if the cover is in good condition I'll keep it and use it for a journal so that's all I have for you guys today to kind of just show you how I disassemble a book. I'm going to go ahead and get finished with this one. But while I was in the process of doing it, I just wanted to jump on here really quick and show you guys what that process looks like for me. So thank you guys for uh, tuning in. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. Also hit the notification bell so that you can know when I upload new videos. Thank you guys so much for your support. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.